So in this video, I'll show you guys uh, how to troubleshoot Unity Remote 5 if it's not working for you. So I've already created a video on this topic before on like how to set up Unity Remote 5, how to use it. But if that didn't work for you, um, you should watch this video. Um, and yeah, so without further ado, let's get into it. <laughs> So if your Unity Remote uh, doesn't work for you, if it's like the program's already opened or the project's already open for like 10 minutes or 15 minutes, sometimes it happens that it doesn't work. So just switch off the project, switch off the Unity Remote 5 and start everything again. I mean like restarting everything again, not like programming and everything, everything again. So the other reason might be that you haven't set it to um, like use a specific Android device. To do that, go to Edit, Project Settings, and then this new window will open. Then go to Edit Editor, and then here in Unity Remote uh, in Device, select the an any Android device. So now it's like, uh, let's see what problems you might have with the phone. So first of all is like swipe this thing, I don't know what it's called. Then uh, you'll see this Android system, USB for file transfer. Click on this and then tap for other USB options. Now, um, the use USB for, like, you can um, either, like, uh, like see what works for you and what's not. So you can use transferring files, Android Auto, slash Android Auto, uh, transferring images. Uh, like, these two are the main. So yeah, you can see which one works for you. For the next one, we need to go to settings. Now, you need to enable USB debugging. Uh, for that, you need to go to about phone, software information. This might be different in your phone, but you need to search it. And then to see the, uh, this build number, you need to click on it five times um, and it will display like uh, at the bottom that you're five steps away from being a developer then four then three then two and then one and then your devel your developer options will be never so if I click on it it's saying no need to uh, no need developer mode has already been enabled so now if you want to see where's the developer mode just go back back and then on the bottom you can see developer options just click on it and then uh, as you can see right here, there are lots of options. You need to search for USB debugging and make sure it's enabled. So it will uh, allow, like when you allow it, it will ask permissions. So yeah, just click on OK and then allow. And then as you can see, it's using USB debugging. So you also need to make sure that your device is not damaged. If like, sorry, the wire is not damaged. Um, and you need to sometimes restart your phone if it's not working. And yeah, so, uh, yeah. So there were a few things that I forgot to include. So sometimes you will have to enable uh, USB debugging again. It happens sometimes. So make sure that it's always checked. And yeah, uh, the other suggestion is that sometimes you might not get the notification because um, there's an option that um, it asks you, it allow files from the source. So sometimes you click it to always allow files from the source and the notification simply won't appear. It will be on the top section. So yeah, that's all we have time for today. And my channel has reached 95 subscribers. I can't even believe that. Uh, thank you for the support and goodbye.